This is the fifth lecture on calculus two, and it's on directional derivatives. Now, I started off with oh, let's go back the uses because uh, I seem this bit more logical to do this first. Now, I'll show you how to define the directional derivative in a minute. But just so you know, if you if uh, you have a function and you found the directional derivative uh, at x zero, then you're tracing along the x-axis, because y is zero, so you're tracing along the x-axis, so you'll find the directional derivative, which is a measure of how steep the function is along the x-axis. Uh, similarly, if we found the directional derivative at 13y, we're tracing along the x-axis at x is 13, so we'd find how steep it is up x equals 13. Right, now how to find it. Sorry, just there we go. Right, a directional derivative is the rate of change, which I just said, so it's how steep it is at certain points. So, you, in a question, you'll be given u, which will be a direction, which in our case is u1i plus u2j plus u3k, uh, and you'll give, be given a function, which is our f of xy, and you'll give, be given a point, uh, ab, so it could be the point 2, 3, so you're finding the, how steep it is at the point 2, 3. So to find it, we use partial derivatives, which we have here, so it's uh, delta f over delta x of ab, times u1 plus delta f over delta y of ab times u2 plus delta f over delta z of ab at u3. Now this is you find in the directional derivative of f at the points ab in the direction of u and that's what that's finding for you. Right, now an example. We are given a function uh, f of x, y, and z, uh, x squared times sine y plus 3z cubed, and we're given our direction, which is u is a ninth, four ninths, and eight ninths, and it's telling us to find the directional derivative at the, uh, at the point 3 pi and minus 2. Now to start off with, we have to find the partial differentiation of uh, delta x, delta y, and delta z from this equation, which should be alright. So this is one here is right, 2x sine y, we're just differentiating this, and that will find y, which will be x squared cosine y, hopefully, there we go, and that one's 9z squared. Now, next what we want to do is we want to put our values that we had before, like a, b, in this case a, b, and c, so we put x is 3, y is pi and z is minus 2. So we put these values in. So we have, uh, this will become 0 because sine pi is 0. This will become minus, ni minus 9. So we have 9 times cosine pi which is minus 1. And this over here will become 36 because 9 times 4. There we go. 0 minus 9 36. Next, if you can remember from the previous slide, we want to times it by the direction. So we'll times 0 by a ninth, minus 9 by 4 ninths, and 36 by 8 ninths, which will give us 0 over here. Wait, I think I've got it. There we go. Which will give us 0 here. It will give us minus 4 here. And it will give us 32 there. So minus 4 plus 32 is 28. And that is our directional derivative at the point 3 pi minus 2.